Docker is a tool that many of us use every day in our development workflow. But how much time or resources do you waste just waiting for the Docker build to complete? And how do you deal with gigantic image size? What if I tell you that there's actually a better way to build our containers? In this video, we will see how we can optimize our Docker build process for both build time and size of the resulting image. Hi everybody and welcome back to Code Day. Today we're going to talk about Docker and specifically on how we can optimize the build of container images. And this video complements other two videos I made about container CI and CD. I highly encourage you to take a look at them when you're finished with this one. You can find the link up here and in the video description. Also, I want to say that this video is inspired by a blog post by Gaspar Evita. And once again, you can find the link to the original post in the video description. Lastly, before we start, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you want to learn about DevOps, especially with Azure DevOps and GitHub, just click on the subscribe button below right now and turn on the notifications so you will not miss any new videos like this. All right, let's dive into today's topic. First thing, we need the starting point that we can use as a baseline for our optimization. And I want to use something that take a long time to build and produce very big images. For this, we're going to build Prometheus from the source code. And to do so, we need an image that has all its dependencies, Golang, Yarn, Node.js, and Make. As you can see on screen, we are going to use a fairly typical Docker file. It's based on Ubuntu Bionic, and we just install all the dependencies we need using apt-get. We clone the repo containing the Prometheus source code, and we finally compile everything. Okay, let's try to build this. I'm using the bash keyword time to see how long the command will take. Also, I'm tagging the image as Prometheus. Since this will take more than a while, I'm going to speed up this part of the video. Okay, now we have it. Eight and a half minutes. Let's check the image size. Looking at the results, we need about eight minutes and 35 seconds to create an image of Prometheus that has a size of about 2.41 gigabyte. This will be our starting point. As you may have noticed, the image we just created is huge, and we can definitely do better using an advanced Docker feature called multi-stage build. The multi-stage build is available in Docker since the version 1705, and is the go-to way to optimize the size of the resulting image. You can use the from as instruction to define stages, and then the copy from instruction to share artifacts across stages. If we take a look at the refactor Docker file to use multi-stage, we can see two stages. The block highlighted in yellow is the stage where all the dependencies are installed and the compilation happens. This stage has been labeled base builder. The block highlighted in red instead is the stage which will produce the actual image and it's labeled as final. The only thing we have to do is copying the result of the compilation to it. To do so, we use the copy from command and we pass the path where the files are using the base builder label to tell Docker we want to copy from the previous stage. This should produce a much smaller image because all the dependencies and the source code are only present in the initial stage, the base builder, while only the binaries are present in the final stage. Let's try and build this image. This time I'm tagging the image as Prometheus multi-stage so we can compare later. Once again, I'm speeding up the process because it takes a while. And here we have it. Let's check the resulting image. Looking at the new result, we spent a little less than eight minutes and 40 seconds to build the image, so basically the same time, but the improvement on the size is massive. Now we are at only 152 megabyte. So we were able to dramatically reduce the size of the resulting image from 2.41 gigabyte to only 152 megabyte using the multi-stage build. However, the build time is still too long, but we are not done yet. We can further optimize our build process using the BuildKit build engine. But before we look into that, hit the like button below if you are enjoying this video or you find it insightful. It will mean the world to me and will help the channel growing. All right, let's talk BuildKit. BuildKit is a toolkit developed by Mobi Project to enhance the build and the packaging of software using containers. And it is part of Docker Build since Docker 1806. Among the different features, BuildKit offers automatic garbage collection to clean up unneeded resources, concurrent dependency resolution, efficient instruction caching, and much, much more performance when compared to the traditional Docker build, thanks to the parallel build. 
If you want to use the BuildKit Power Build Engine, you can do so by using the environment variable docker underscore buildkit equals one. And it is also possible to enable this by default, just edit the daemon configuration in slash etc slash docker slash daemon json and add the features buildkit true, and then restart the daemon. The legacy docker build engine executes the build of all the stages sequentially. However, the buildkit one is able to compute the dependency graph of the stages and then execute those in parallel. With this in mind, we can refactor our Docker file and speed up our build time. With this Docker file, we can create a first stage called Base Builder, highlighted in yellow, that contains the basic tools and will act as a base for the next layers. In everything from Base Builder, we can define other three stages highlighted here in green. The Golang, which contains Go, source code that we will use to get the Prometheus source code, and finally, the Base Builder Extended, which is an enhancement of the Base Builder that contains Node.js and Yarn. These three stages don't depend on each other, so thanks to BuildKit, their build will be parallelized. At this point, we are ready to build the code and we use the step labeled as Builder for that. In this stage, highlighted in blue, we copy from the previous stages the artifact we need to run the build. And finally, we create the final stage that contains only the Prometheus executable. Since the three stages are marked in green will run in parallel, that should give us a better build time. Let's try and build this new image. I'm tagging this new image as Prometheus Parallel, and you can see that the output of the build change because this is the new build kit experience. Once again, I'll speed the whole thing up. Now that it's done, we can check the time and it's only 7 minutes and 17 seconds. We shred about 1 minutes and 20 seconds from the previous build. And if we check the image size, we still have the small one with 152 megabyte. As you can see, the improvement in both image size and build time is really big, and this can be very beneficial in many cases. Using the multi-stage build approach can be very beneficial in production where the size of the images matter, and the parallel build instead makes all the process faster. And this is very important, especially if the stages in your build consume a lot of time, and especially when you do CI-CD, because you don't want to waste time and resources just waiting for your Docker build to finish. All you have to do is keep in mind how BuildKit works and see what can be parallelized and develop your Docker file accordingly. All right, that's it for today. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this and if you have any other method to speed up or in general optimize your Docker builds. Many of us uses, uses how we can optimize our Docker Docker equals one environment var environment the legacy the legacy thank you very much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it hit the like button below subscribe if you haven't already and i see you in the next video here at coder dave